everyone, this is Soraya Galon. In this video, I'm going to have a teaching demo for a senior high school. So this is my lesson plan. So that's it. Let's start. Good morning, class. How are you today? Okay, please all stand for the pray for a prayer. Mr. Cruz, please lead a prayer. Amen. Okay, pick up some pieces of paper and then arrange your chairs as always. Okay, so let's check your attendance. Start counting. Very good. You didn't have absent, so that's great. That's good. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you a story. A story all about Taylor. So I here is an a, a bicycle. So Taylor working in a candy shop, and she has had her eye on a new bike. And Taylor saved fifty six dollar, but. The bike is being sold for $156. She would not mind waiting except for the fact that several of her, several of her friends are going to go a big bike riding. And she wanted to, uh, ca to come with them. So, she decided to borrow a money to his brother. But... Her brother wanted to charge her an interest, so her brother let let her borrow a one hundred dollar, and he he wanted to charge her interest fifteen percent per month, and then Taylor said that is not fair, so Taylor disagree. So if he um, try to find what is the fifteen percent of one hundred dollar. Okay, try to answer that. 15% of $100. So write, write in that. Try to answer. And then number two, try to find the 20% of $100. Number three, 25% of $100. And number four, 30% of $100. Okay, so the, are you done answering? Okay, let us check. So what is the 15% of our $100? $100? So we have 15 and 20%. We had 20, 20 and 25%, 25 and 30%, 30 and thir um, that's it. So did you get the correct answer? Okay, very good. Okay, so if you are Taylor, would you disagree of their deal? Would you disagree? And then, how did you come up with your answer? Is so someone can present right in here? What? How? Okay, M Miss. Okay, very good. That's correct. So, in this today, we're going to tackle about simple interest. So, from from our story, we're talking about interest. So for, now we're gonna talk about interest. So, what is interest? So, interest is a charge for money that is borrowed or that is invested. So, that is interest. Anything that, that you're going to pay or you're going to receive as long as it has interest. Another, we have principal. Principal is the amount of money that is invested or borrowed. So from our story, the principal is $100, while our interest is the 15% of $100. So we have the 15% of $100 is 15. Okay, how about the rate of an interest? The percent charge of earned or, or the percent charge or earned. So the rate of interest is the 15%. Did you get that? Okay, how about the equation? So we have the formula in finding the simple interest or the interest. We have interest is equal to I equals PRT. So I stands for interest. P is equal to principal. R is equal to rate. And T is, stands for time. And always remember, is time is always using one year or 12 months. Okay? Okay, for example, we have here. 
if you borrow $3,600 from USA Savings Bank for 18 months, and at the end of the 18 months, you will repay $4,059 to the bank. What is the interest rate for this loan? So the question is the interest rate. So what are you going to to so uh, to answer is you're going to use the formula because we're 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 as uh, they asking for the interest. Okay, so the formula is I is equal to PRT. So uh, I is we have interest of what? Uh, uh, uh they asking for the interest rate. So we have the interest of. Um, we have, we're going to find the interest. So, 4,059 4, is the, ba uh, is what you, what you receive. And, you borrow 3,600. So, if, we're, we're finding the interest here. So, we're going to just subtract 4,059 to 3,600. 3, so, the answer is 459. And then, we have principal 3,600. And, we have time for 18 months so we're 18 months so as what i have said we're going to use 12 months or one year so 18 divided by 12 is 1.5 or three halves so we're uh so let's start answering so we're just going to substitute so we have interest is 459 is equal to 3600 the principal and the rate is unknown so we're going to find the rate here so the percentage times we have the time 1 and 1 half or 1.5. So we have 459 is equal to 3,600 times 1 and 1 half is 5,400. So divided by both sides by 5,400. So cancel. So 459 divided by 5,400 is equal to 0 0.085. So that is our rate or 8.5%. So example number 2. If you deposit... If you deposit $2,000 at USA Savings Bank, and at the end of two years, you will have received $240 in simple interest. So, what is the interest rate at USA Savings Bank? So, the question again here is the interest rate. So, the interest here is we have $2,400. We have principal $2,000, and the time is two years. And then the interest rate is unknown. So we're going to answer that one. So substitute the value we have. I is equal to 2,000 times 2. We have 4,000 R. So R is unknown again. So divided by both sides by 4,000. So 4,000 cancelled. So 240 divided by 4,000 is equal to 0 0.06. Or we have 6%. Any questions? Huh? Did, you get the, uh, did you catch up? Okay, very good. So, if you have a question, you can ask me freely. Don't, don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, so uh, try to answer this. <coughs> Jesse. Okay, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm going to read the question. So, Jesse borrowed 400 pesos at the end of the year and then... <coughs> okay, so... Jesse borrowed 400 pesos, 500 pesos at the end of the year. And then, her, her, payback, her payback is 50 pesos interest. So, the question is, what was the interest? So, try to answer. Number two, Karen earned 200 pesos. And in two years of simple interest, simple interest, the initial investment is 400. So, try to answer again the interest rate. Try. So, did you get? Okay, let's check. Okay, did you get the correct answer? Okay, very good. So, I think you're all ready. So, let's try answer. So, please get your activity notes. So, try to answer this. And I will give you 15 minutes to answer since this is very easy. Okay, try to answer this. So, are you done? I uh, Okay, done answering. Okay, very good. So, let us check. Okay, who got the correct answer? Who got the perfect score? Oh, very good. Okay, so I think you already know about this. So if you have any questions, you can just approach me. And then, so that's uh, that's for today. That's all for today. So let, please all stand for our prayer and good, goodbye class. And see you tomorrow. Bye.